In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church. And this is the good news. Thanks be to God. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 7, verses 43 through to chapter 8, verse 2. So there was a division among the people because of him. Now some of them wanted to take him, and, but no one laid hands on him. Then the officers came to the chief priests and the Pharisees, who said to them, Why have you not brought him? The officers answered, No man ever spoke like this man. Then the Pharisees answered them, Are you also deceived? Have any of the rulers of the, or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd that does not know the law is accursed. Nicodemus, he who came to Jesus by night, being one of them, said to them, Does our Lord judge a man before it hears him and knows what he is doing? They answered and said to him, Are you also from Galilee? Search and look, for no prophet has arisen out of Galilee. And everyone went to his own house. But Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Now early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came to him, and he sat down and taught them. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your word, that we may be true followers of yours. In this scripture reading today, we read about Jesus. How the Pharisees are still plotting against him. And they weren't happy because the soldiers that were sent, the officers, were did not bring him back when they expected him to be brought back. Why have you not brought him? The officers answered, No man ever spoke like this man. Then the Pharisees answered them, Are you also deceived? This is the way they were thinking, that these soldiers were deceived by Jesus. And of course, have many of the rulers or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd that does not know the law is accursed. Nicodemus, who was one of the people who kept on coming to Jesus at night in secret, said to them, Does our Lord judge a man before it hears him and know what he is doing? Nicodemus was, I guess you could say, sticking up for Jesus. So we can see how the discussion is going on among them. They're still trying to find something to get on Jesus to find someone who is prepared to give him up, to be sacrificed. So in the meantime, we wait. We wait now. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives, there to be alone to pray. Then the next morning, he came back into the temple. And the people came to him, and he sat down and he taught them. He taught them the word of God. So during this week, as we know as Holy Week, we journey on this 
road to Calvary with Jesus. We follow it day by day, the different steps that Jesus took, the different occasions. You'll notice how the readings will go, that eventually, to Holy Thursday, and then finally, on to Good Friday. We then wait. We wait then for the resurrection. It's coming. So I urge you all to stop what you're doing. Pray. Keep in mind what Jesus has done for us. Keep in mind the love of God what he is prepared to do for us. He sacrificed his son, yes, to save us all through his death and then glorious resurrection. Yes, conquered death by his death. Every day think about this. And glorify God for the many blessings he has given us. Glory to God for all things. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most holy Theotokos, save us.